Hi friends. So in today's video, we are going to talk about another two important business terms. First one is SGNA and the second one is operating income. If you would have noticed, we are trying to cover important business terms that you can use while having personal interview or group discussion. If you want us to cover any specific topic, do let us know in the comment box below and we will come out with a video on that topic soon. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. So let's look at the first term SGNA. SGNA stands for selling, general and administrative expense. It's a sum of all direct and indirect selling expense and all general and administrative expense of a company. To explain this in a better way, let's think about a cell phone store which is called as tech store. Now tech store is trying to sell cell phones in the market. In order to do that, it would have primarily two kinds of expense. The first one is the selling expense that includes advertising and marketing expense, travel cost of the sales team or the salary of the salesperson, so on and so forth. So all of that which involves a direct selling cost will be bucketed under the selling cost of tech store. The second one is general and admin expense. Now think of the salaries of department members other than the sales team. While they are not directly selling the product, they are equally important to be present in the store. The telephone bill of the store or the insurance that the store would have paid for the goods which are present in the store. All of these indirect kind of expense which are actually important for the general and administrative expense would fall under general and admin category. Now the selling the general and the administrative expenses put together is what is put under SGNA. So if I were to summarize this, SGNA is nothing but the sum of all direct and indirect selling expenses and then the general and administrative expense of a company put together. Now let me explain you the selling expense in a bit more detail. So we are talking about this tech store which is selling cell phones. Now in order to do so, the store will have some advertising and marketing expense. Now this could be for promotion of products or to do some kind of advertisement in the local newspaper. At the same time, the store will also have a sales team to which the store needs to pay salary. So the salary of the salesperson is also important. So these kind of expenses which are required for a direct selling of the product will fall under the selling expense. Okay, so now let's look at the second component, which is general and admin expense. Now, in order to do the regular functioning of the tech store, the store might be having some telephone expense, could also be paying some rent and could also be having some internet expense. All of these expenses may not be related to direct selling of the product, but are equally important in order to make those sales happen. And therefore, all of this put together will fall under the general and admin expense. Now I will be illustrating the SGNA expense in the form of some numbers. Now think about the tech store and these are some of its costs. Now the store has paid in advertising about $200, in salary expense about $500. Now both of these put together will fall under the selling expense. Similarly, the store would have paid a rent of about $100, internet bill of $50 and salary for the non-sales team for about $150. These three put together will be falling under the general and admin expense. Now, if you add all of this together, which is a total sum of thousand US dollars is basically the selling general and administrative expense. And if I may repeat, it has got two components. The one is selling expense and the other one is general and admin expense. So now that we are clear on SGNA, let's look at the next topic, which is operating income. Operating income is equivalent to the total revenue minus the COGS and all operating expenses such as SGNA. So basically the formula is the total revenue. You remove the COGS out of it. You remove the SGNA out of it. And whatever you are left with is the operating income of the company.
Now this particular profit and loss statement will better illustrate what an operating income of a company is. I would say don't get overwhelmed with what all these numbers are because we are going to cover each of them in detail in our next video. But for today's video, let's look at some basic terms. We are talking about the P&L statement of Apple Incorporation. The total revenue for Apple in the year 2017 is about 229,000 US dollars, out of which the COGS of the company is roughly 141,000 US dollars. So you subtract the COGS from the net sales or the total revenue and what you are left with is basically the gross profit. Now from this gross profit, you deduct the operating expenses. Now one of the operating expenses that we just covered is SGNA. However, there could be another there could be other operating expense such as R&D cost, which means the total amount of money that the company has spent to do research and development. So all these expenses, when they are deducted from the gross profit, whatever you are left with is basically the operating income. So if I were to repeat the formula for operating income, it's the total revenue minus the COGS minus all the operating expenses. And that is how you come to the operating income of the company. So I hope you have clearly understood what SGNA and operating income is. If you like the content of today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want us to make similar videos in future, please let us know in the comment box below. Till then, take care friends.